Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We're here with Al Gallagher of Yamaha Motor Canada. Yes. And we're talking a little bit about the G3 boats. Absolutely. Yeah, we spent a little bit of time this year, obviously you'll see in some of our episodes of filming on actually this particular boat. And uh, we had lots of fun, lots of room. Yes. Brought some great fish in on this boat. And I guess we just want to talk about the expanded lineup. Let's talk the big lineup of G3, sure. what the products are available to BC guys. You know, it's funny, uh, at these shows all the time, Mike, I get people all the time saying, I didn't know Yamaha made boats. Yeah. I said, no, yeah. that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I said, uh, you know, and uh, uh, we're, we're one of the largest boat manufacturers in North America now. Yeah. This is our fifth year in Canada and, uh, you know, uh, in the BC market, we've, we've got some great dealers that are yeah. actually getting behind us and yeah. bringing the product in. So we're pretty excited about awesome. what we've got. So what do we have for lineups? Like what types of boats do we have now? Uh, we, we actually do, it's, it's a full line, it's a full family of boats. So okay. we do everything from a, a deep V boat like you yeah. see here to John boats. Yeah. Uh, we do pontoon boats, pontoon fishing boats, uh, and what we call a, an Eagle series, which is sort of like a John boat, bass boat mix. Okay. You know, it, we actually make, um, uh, over 150 different models wow. of boats. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look at through some of them, sure. shall we? Sure. Okay. Love to show Sounds you. good. Okay. Well, so we're over here at the Guide Series. That's right. These beautiful looking G3s. So let's talk a bit about this one. This is a uh, this is a BC staple. The 12 foot absolutely boats. These are a lot of guys are car topping these or small trailers and getting into lakes and stuff for trout right on, and stuff. So right on. let's talk a bit about this model here. Um, what this one is? Sure, it's kind of typical to our uh, our guide series. This is our 12 foot, like you said, a stable in BC. Yeah. What's really cool about our boats is it's it's actually like a piece of origami. Yeah. It's it's a one piece of metal, and we actually fold it, and the only welds or, or uh, possibility of leaks are at the, at the bow. Yeah. It's a full weld on both sides, and then at the stern. Yeah. The other big thing that's re unique for uh, G3 is. On our transom braces, there are full transom braces and full welds all around us. Yeah. So it's very, very solid. Very sturdy. Very like said, sturdy boat. The 12 foot boats. These spent, are it. I spent so many hours in these boats, probably up front summer here playing with the dead fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flopping around. Okay. Well, it's, it's a nice 61 inch beam yeah. on it too. No, it's which awesome. Is cool. Yeah, like I said, the stability and the width is good. So great. why don't we take a look over at, uh, let's check the John boats out next. Sure. That's great. Okay. Awesome. All right. Okay, Al. Well, this is a staple right here. Absolutely. These John boats in BC for the fly fishermen. Uh, this one, this particular model is a 1442, I believe. That's correct. So a lot of guys will be trailing in this around and getting into lakes and stuff. Uh, tell us a bit about sure the, the, uh, Some, these John boats. Yeah. Well, the, the cool thing with our or with our Johns, even though we call this a riveted John, we do mm -hmm. welded and riveted. Yep. We call this a riveted John. It's still a fully welded boat, mm -hmm. but the the keels are riveted on. So okay. it's, again, you're still getting the benefits of a welded See? boat, yeah. and they come all the way up the side of the boat, so you got lots of rigidity. Yeah. You got again built like a little tank. Yeah. The other big thing for us too is um, we got a big transom brace in the back, yeah, okay. which, which isn't common in a lot of the John boats. No. So again, it gives you a little bit of stuff. Yeah. And most of our Johns are also 100 gauge aluminum, so it's yeah. a nice heavy boat. Yeah. Again, this is very applicable to the BC market. You got their fly fishermen, you got your duck hunters. Absolutely. Especially the duck hunters like yep. these boats getting in out of skinny water yep. and yep. lots of room for, for your decoys, and lots oh, yeah. of room for your fly rods and stuff. That's this what is I great. use, so. <laughs> yeah, that's great. We'll just have a quick peek at the 10, great. the 10 footer up on the Yamaha there, and then we'll take a look at some of the other boats. Great. Okay. Awesome. We just moved over to the 14 yes. footer here, Al, and we've, I spotted this when I first came in the show. Aside from the great setup on top here, the 1036 <laughs> is gonna be your pram guys that wanna go out and they're fishing smaller lakes, easy to get in and yep. out. Talk a bit about this one here. You this know, is a cool it's model. Funny, Mike, we, we actually developed this for the BC market. This is okay. a, you know, this is a, a great thing for this. It's, yeah. it's 10 feet long, 36 inches wide. Yeah. But the really neat thing, it's still got the same qualities as the 1436. But what you've got is an extra four inches of depth at the side. So awesome. even though it's a small little boat, it's yeah. still stable nice. and very safe. Yeah, great. And then of course this setup you got here on this quad you like is that, a nice huh? little package. This That's is great. Neat. Yeah, you got the motor hooked up on the back and. I might be taking this around the boat show later. <laughs> see, many, see how long we get get yeah, away with those security that for yeah, sure. That'd be great. For sure. Good. Well, let's have a look at the pontoon boats next. Great. These are great other feature too. Great. Okay. Okay, Al, we've moved over from the John boats over the to more of the family style sure. boats, and these are great. I think in BC now, more and more people are getting these on big lakes, and some of the cottage owners and cabin owners are oh. using these boats because. They're, they're really practical. You know, it, it's amazing. You know, people look at a, the pontoon, they think of the old days when, you know, grandpa and grandma were going on the lake and, yeah. you know, they weren't making any headway. Yeah. You know, same as our John boats, we do probably close to 50 different models of pontoons. Wow. Everything you can run, probably a 9.9 to a 1, to a, actually one of our uh, pontoons will take our 225 
VMAX. Can wow. you do, do over 60 miles an hour? So wow. It's really changed. That's not, yeah, that's like you're saying, that's not Grandma Grandpa's no. pontoon boat anymore. <laughs> not at all. And this, again, this, I was telling you a story quickly about how my son, I took my two year old son fishing first time off a pontoon yep. boat. Because of the room and the safety factor, sure. we were able to troll at a nice speed. But I mean, he could walk around, and you're not keeping him bored. But just the the aspect of socializing oh. and stuff on these boats, and and the functionality is just. You know, last part, year yeah, I was I was lucky enough last year to have a demo. Yeah. And um, what was really neat, I was able to take more friends out fishing. Yeah. The other thing that we were able to do is my wife, she likes to fish, but not all the time. Yeah. And yeah. lots of times I go fishing, she'd be lounging up on the sun yeah. deck, and it wasn't hurting my fishing ability no. either. You know? No, this is great. Yeah. Oh, these are great again. And, and so how many sizes you were saying again this, this uh, comes in? We, we actually, we do about 50 models, but wow. we started at about a 16 and a half foot, okay. and we go all the way to 26 feet. Great. Two logs, three logs, any configuration you can think of. So. Oh, great. And all Yamaha made, so. Good. Well, let's go back and talk about uh, the V sure. that we used. Yeah, one, 175, yeah, that we had. And okay. we'll get a little bit more into sure. it. That boat, again, was was lights <laughs> out. So let's let's get, we'll finish off on that one because that's Great. that was my favorite one for sure. I'm glad you ran it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, hey well, we're back to my favorite boat. Obviously, love this one. That's we great. had a little. We spent a little bit of time fishing off this boat this year again. So let's let's go through features of this boat because sure. you know, we we talked a little about during the episodes. What's kind of cool about this boat along along the uh, the the, uh, oh, the gunnel side? Yep. Th there's a lockable storage to put all your fly rods, your yep. fishing rods inside yep. there. It's got a great area, um, and you mentioned you love that part of it. You were up on the deck. Yeah. The back deck is is great because you can flip down the fold seats. Yeah. And, and fly cast to your heart's content without getting people caught up. Yeah, like during the episodes, we had three people in the boat, camera wow. person and two people yeah, two right people too. fly fishing. Yeah, this was the best feature I said was, aside from the boat, was standing up out of the way, yep. you're up out of the way. And if you're tangling the other guy, you're doing something wrong. It was you're just, it was perfect. Yeah. I'd be tangling. It was perfect. Sure. Oh, I'm sure we'll, we'll get you dialed in this year if you ever come out. So <laughs> again, sure. so battery capacity, yep. all that kind of this, stuff too. This will actually be, you know, uh, again, with fly fishing, everybody wants lots of battery life. Yep. So this will hold three uh, deep cycle batteries without any problems at all. All hidden out of the way All too. hidden out of the way. Yeah, you, you wouldn't even notice. Um, it's got a full stereo complement, MP3 player adapter. Um, oh, it's just a great boat. I mean, yes. we, we teamed it up with this 115, which again, I thought was a little bit overkill, but uh, who doesn't like a big motor on the this, back of a boat? This will take a 200. And that would have been overkill. <laughs> <laughs> this thing was absolutely. There's never overkill. This was like, yeah, you're motors, right, you're right, you're right. This was lights <laughs> out on some of the lakes for fishing. So for sure. again, thanks for, thanks for showing us around. I really and, appreciate uh, it. You know what, if you want to check out more stuff on Yamaha, visit us on our uh, website page. We have a link directly to their stuff under our TV page, which is one of our sponsors, of course. So click on, do your research. You got any questions? Get a hold of Yamaha, absolutely. guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks.